two, one, transition. Hello everyone, you're watching Midwest Speedfest 2020. Uh, before we begin with Ventifer's run of the amaz most amazing fitness game you can ever play with the circle, uh, I really would like to mention really quick, we actually have a new incentive open for the very next run, um, which is for Eat Girl. Uh, we have the True Any% percent run as a bonus run for that category, or for that run, that uh, if you pledge $25 before the end of this run with Ventifer here, you can get to see Frozen Flag on, you can get to see her play the true 100% instead of the usual run for this, which would be um, all standard levels. So, without further ado though, Ventifer, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey y'all, my name's Ventifer. The game we're playing is a Ring Fit Adventure. It's a exercise RPG game on the Switch. The category we're doing is a B World 1 Intensity 30. So B World 1 means the first world, Intensity 30 is the next city. So it's a relatively short category, very basic, very good way to get into the speedrun, and that's pretty much it. Let's see the donations in as well, guys, for that, uh, that new incentive. Now count on from five, we'll start it up. Sounds good. You want me to count down, or? Uh, I can count <laughs> down. Sorry, okay. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. So this run involves doing two things. It involves doing ring presses on the ring here. I'll be doing these constantly for XP games. Also doing high knees. You see me do that as well. We'll see more as we do it. It's very uh, kind of repetitive, but kind of part of the run. All right, let's go. And the voice on the wrong voice too. Door, I was prepped for the blindfold run, so I had English on, but I usually play on Japanese. But it's not too big a difference. It's a little bit quicker Japanese voice, but not gonna have anything to be worried about here. So you see we're doing ring presses here on the screen. Every ring press gets you about 4 XP per ring press. Also fire the air blast off to the left or right. We're doing these ring presses to gain levels. Our goal is to be level uh, about 5 or 6 by uh, level 1-2. We'll be grinding this level twice here, level 1-1 one, one twice. We're also doing high knees. I see on the character on the screen. We're doing high knees on the screen here, and we're doing also here too. This gives you more XP than uh, running, actually, so. The Ring Fit Adventure keeps tracks of your movement through the two Joy-Cons. The one on the Ring Con here, and one also on my left leg as well. So make sure we're doing exercise correctly, make sure we're doing correct intensity, all that jazz. Based on the, the Ring Cons themselves here. The any exercise we do gives us XP from the ring presses, ring pulls, the jumps, anything pretty much. This is a great game to exercise with. We're at the stage here, we're also collecting the XP medallions as well. There's three per stage. And right here you'll see you grab the second one. They give you more XP for each one you grab in order. If you grab one, you get 50. Then it's 150, then I think it's 300. We're close to the stage here, thankfully. Why don't we do the stage one more time, though? <coughs> Our goal is to do about five iron represses per stage. Now turn your exercise into experience <coughs> points with a victory <coughs> pose. Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I'm gonna stay quite a bit lately. Charge your squad power, but don't. You're all good. Don't worry about it. At the end of the stage, you ever do victory pose? You bank your XP. It's required for every stage that we finish off normally like that. After we finish the stage, we get XP here. We gain levels, gain new stats, and this Ring Fit Adventure is a RPG. Very light-based RPG, but still an RPG. So we did that stage once, we're gonna do it one more time here. Same thing. Ring presses, high knees. We'll do it one more time here. See, on that first stage here, we burned about 30 calories, actually, so. Good exercise. Getting very, very good cardio. Right, it's a good way to supplement your exercise routine. If you don't go to the gym, you can do this instead. Also, a, a good way to make a metronome, it seems. Go ahead, Focus, sorry. I said it's a good way to make a net metronome, it seems, because the rhythm you have is consistent. Yeah, kind of had to be with this, too. 
We're gonna pick it up. The game also does have a rhythm game mode too, actually. It kind of seems like a Beat Saber type style. It's actually rather, rather cool. You see, we're going through the same stage again here, doing ring presses for the XP. The occasionally on the ring get same, kind of weird too. It's all due to calibration. You point down the calibration, will reset itself, so, but it gets annoying, for sure. Yay! And why are we grinding, my ass? We're grinding for levels, of course. Why else do you grind an RPG? But we're grinding for a certain level. We'll be level 5, 5, 1, 2. And not even more, honestly. So we're gonna go on a little bit further here, finish the stage off. Score! And gain level no here too. You can gain it level anywhere, it's kind of annoying when it happens, but you know. If you have any donations read off, feel free to go ahead, focus. Yeah, we actually do. We have one from uh, Moon Blaze Wolf for $25, completing the Eat Girl incentive, saying, if we get more Eat Girl, Eat Girl, <laughs> the typo already got me, great. Uh, if we get more Eat Girl, does that mean we get more Greg? Because we always need more Greg, okay? So yeah, with that, we've actually hit the incentive for Frozen Flygon's run of Eat Girl, and so we're gonna get a bonus true any uh, true 100% um, run, which is gonna be pure any percent, rather, run. Be really cool to see. Awesome, awesome, guys. You saw there on that end of the level, we actually ended the level early. That way we could get out of there a little bit quicker. Did one good meaning for the game here, too. We deleted a few of our exercises here. Only exercise we wanted was the uh, yoga pose, the chair pose. And now we're on normal. Try pointing me down, pressing in, and holding. Awesome. So now we try normal. Still doing ring for the XP, but don't need any high knees, and they are slower than running. Game also has different uh, settings. If you can't like run, they have squat mode. So you do a bunch of mini squats instead of running. It gets the same job done pretty much. Still decent exercise too. Uh oh. This is our first fight here. Fights are called fit battles. You fight using exercises to do damage to me. We won't be using yoga poses, but you can use no, no. arm pose, uh, core poses, and uh, leg poses, leg exercises. Just leave it to me. Currently, I think the pose right now, but, but we didn't chair poses on this guy. Over and over again. Come on, let's warm up by giving this guy a smoothie blend of kale and punishment. So important to do the correct form for the exercise. So for the chair pose, as you'll see right here. The game will show the form off here, with that tip showing off. We gotta do it correctly. If you do it wrong, it won't go here. It'll delay you, so... Please make sure you're doing exercise correctly. With the other skills, you have to go slow enough to uh, get fully charged up. The amount of damage you do is uh, based on how good exercise was done. If you're doing great damage, that means exercise is uh, good form. There's like, I think there's a good damage, and I think there's like normal damage. The amount of damage is like a uh, number between like 9 and 10 or something. 9 and 11. Somewhere on that scale of damage it gives you. You can tell we're doing exercise correctly also by our hair lights up here. If we get Super Saiyan hair, that means we're doing exercise correctly. The yoga poses, you actually get a little bit quicker right before your hair catches on fire. So we do, it's a little bit quicker. Like a frame or two quicker, so... We'll aim to do it, but... You also have to guard. You may attack you, but... You don't actually have to block him. You just damage boost through it. So we're getting this screen pop up since we delete all of our skills. And the only skill we have here is chair pose. Chair pose is so much quicker than the other exercise. I prefer to using this instead of anything else. That's far fewer reps, but that's the same amount of damage. For less reps. There we go. 
First five to one. We win a five to get XP, get money, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Game level, born HP, also awesome. Ended up being around level 7 by the end of the run. And now we're gonna run to the next fight here. And focus, see anything say, feel free to go for it. Uh, let me check in right now and see the donation. Oh, we haven't gotten any more new donations. I'm free, I'm happy to shout out a few things. Go for it. Mainly, I just want to shout out that um, if you are a speedrunner yourself and you'd like to participate in one of our marathons, we'd love to have you. Runners from all across the globe are encouraged to submit to our online events, and if you're willing and able to come to Minneapolis, you can take part in our in-person events as well. For more information, join our Discord server by typing exclamation Discord in chat or by checking our Twitch bio. Like, for instance, uh, where are you from, Eventifer? I'm from Indianapolis, of Indiana. Okay, that is the Midwest. I was going to be like, well, I'm not, but... <laughs> Actually, I'm in the Midwest. No, we're actually Let's east, go. but you know, so Midwest. Mid Midwest East. Eastern Midwest, because that doesn't confuse anyone. Middle of somewhere. You saw there on the stairs, we did a stair jump. You time your jumps correctly, you can do multiple stair jumps and save momentum. Save time by using momentum. Usually you can get about three stair jumps. You time your uh, jumps right. And... In theory, you can do like, oh, I'm doing now, but in actuality, three is pretty good. Here's our second fight, though. The RNG of any old attack here, not to, so. Pray to RNG gods. They does not attack us. They look cute. This doesn't look good for us. Will it look at cute? Look cute again? Will he attack us? Oh, uh, he's gonna attack us. Keep squeezing. But yellow on this, you know. That kind of face, he yellow on me, too. Second, second attack here. You saw during your first attack, he knows. We had one good damage in there. Means I'm a little bit fast on yoga pose. It's not a big, big deal. Might be a little bit quicker even, but still got the job done. So happy. From here, we're gonna run straight to the end, then start the last stage. Last stage, the boss level. A lot longer because the fight is very, very long. Otherwise, it's still more of the same. We think we will not do any refresh the next stage. That was a great run. Drop your hips. We don't really care about our level. past the next stage. Game also asks you to check your heartbeat, which we don't care about. If we did, I mean, it's cool to see, but not useful for a speed run. Let's move on to the next stage here. Next stage, you can see recurring boss you see like the whole game. Drago. Drago's like a gigantic Bowser, pretty much. The best way to describe him. Like a gym version of Bowser. But let's get it started. If they read off, go in focus, go for it. Still having, uh, we guys, we guys need to get more donations in. There's nothing better than for donations, and I think fitness, because genuinely this is one of the most impressive things I've always, I've always seen you at various different events, and it's always been super impressive. Yeah, first time uh, I thought about was speedrun, I was like, huh, should I speedrun a fitness game? That was always and now you're trying to do it blindfolded as well. How exactly would you run the game blindfolded if you don't mind me asking? For blindfold run, there's some sound cues to let you know where you're at on the level. It's still a bit of guessing here and there, but the there's enough sound cues you can get through it. There's not like any major jumps you have to worry about. There's a couple, but there's coins before the jumps. Here are those, you can jump over them. It's a bit of guessing, a bit of uh, praying, a bit of hoping for luck, but it does work out usually. And fighting, the fights itself, I mean, fights are fairly easy, blindfold. Here's Drago, our best buddy, our best friend. There's an actual story for the game, too. It's okay. Better than you expect for an exercise game. It involves a talking, a plotty ring, and a gigantic dragon. Nintendo, right? This is Nintendo first IP, so first party RP. Very well done. It's used in the Breath of the Wild engine, so the game is super pretty. So here's our boss fight. You can see that was HP above right there. 
It's quite a lot of HP. It takes, uh, I think, five chair puzzles total to kill him. Slowly return to the starting... In between, he will be attacking us occasionally. PRNG when he attacks us. Ideally, we get lucky, he won't attack us that much. I mean, he's gonna attack us sometime. Let's be real. We'll continue to smack him here. See, on the left side there, that's Tip. The guy who's doing the exercise puzzles with us. That's Tip. He's the exercise model that does everything with you. Not anything too important, but it's in your hand. Yeah, we're gonna dance boots through some of this. Then we'll actually do a full guard. Can't really figure out how many attacks we'll actually do to us. This doesn't look good for us. You can't use it hit us quite a few times. But it's save our HP. The things that show off, so that's pretty awesome actually. So we'll do this again. Do you have time for donations? Yeah, go for it. Perfect time. All right, so this is a this is a ten dollar donation from TRS Crazy P, saying for ten dollars, saying yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitness donation into this run. Boy, that was a pun. Uh, thank you so much, though, TRS. Appreciate it. Yeah, I love the good and puns. Oh you know, yeah, there's a lot of puns you could make with uh with this game, I think, or any fitness game, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. The game itself has a few puns itself. It's, uh, it gets kind of weird at some points, kind of entertaining at some points. We won't see it here, but... Megan, you know if a pun's good, if it hurts, does boy. That's not exactly the pun. standard I use. Oh, yeah. Excellent. So, game may attack us here. He gets three different attacks he can do. We're seeing the one that we really don't want to see, the double attack. It takes a little bit longer. Can you do a single punch, a two punches, or a two punches combined? Good for us. You can't use any skills. We saw there the two punches separate. You should feel it in your stomach when you breathe out. A single punch again. I mean, it's faster than anything else, but still close. Be sure to stay hydrated. So again, three more chair poses should win. This movement targets your core. Whole part for this run is mainly uh, being able to do that menu on World 1 and 2. To remove all the other fit attacks. It enables us to spam the yoga poses over and over again. There are cooldowns for yoga pose, but that's why we gotta wait a turn between each attack here. We're slowly making progress here. See our bomb rise our HP. Ball left the stuff that keeps track of our uh, calories we burn. Keeps track of calories we burn, how many miles we ran, and uh, time spent exercising. Perfect. Very robust. Amgar. I've heard that calorie counter is not all that accurate. Not your arm. So I'm not too sure myself. But right now, since we burn about 90 calories, which isn't bad. Either way. If that's off by, say, times of two, so we burn 180, or off by the factor of half, we burn 45. Either way, that's still okay. Keep going. Select a skill. So again, two more turns here. The other things that are available, the ring fit runs are very, very, uh, the longer runs are very long. Full game runs around 14 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours, for run 10 C1. 10 C30 is like a 17 hour run for any percentage. 100% gets even more insane. Those are about 20 hour runs to like the 34 hour run. Uh. Uh, really? 100% intensity 30, I think. World record right now is 34, 37 hours. The RTA, so the guy is took that a. Uh, workout? He took like a three hour sleep break, I think. I mean, typically, uh. 100%, That's still. Yeah, it's still kind of crazy. 31 hours of working out? 31? I believe so, yeah. I've attempted the oh, I can see, uh, I was wondering... Go ahead. With your legs bent slightly, squeeze. I've attempted the intensity 100% run. It's pretty brutal itself, but... I didn't finish it. It's been about 20 hours and I ended up giving up. Which kinda sucks, but... 
in your stomach when you breathe out. Well, damage boost through this one seems about dead. Careful! You don't have many hearts left. That's still insane. I genuinely didn't think that one of the longest speedruns I could think of was Wing Fit Adventure. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it it's is RPG in every sense of the word. Then it really is. The ultimate speedrun game. There's so many side quests and hard percent. It's kind of stupid. Plus, you do every level. There are quite a few levels, so it does drag you down. There's 23 worlds per for the whole game. There's quite a few levels per uh, world. That includes mini games, side quests, all that jazz. But runs about over here. Time will end when we do our victory what pose here. Amazing. A few more seconds, final 10 more seconds. Did gain level, unfortunately, so that's the time loss a bit, but now oh well. But time will be our victory pose when we end here. From the ground. Release. In time. And that's uh, Ring Fit Adventure. Alright, awesome. My name so is the time for you right now. It's below, it's below. Uh, I love stream delay. 1943. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Step 20 is pretty decent. Yeah, for sure. That was really impressive. And uh, for ha you having done this in the morning, your time as well, that is insane. Mm. I've never seen anyone be able to wake up and decide, I'm going to speed on a fitness game at 7 a.m. But you absolutely nailed it. I work weird hours, so I'm kind of used to being up early. But thank you all for watching me. Thank you, Midwest Speedfest, for having me. My name's Ventifer. Thank you for running for us, honestly. Please do support and follow Ventifer. Yes, did please an follow me on job. Twitch. You feel like following me. And thank you guys for having me. Guys, please no get worries. a donation sent in too for the later donation sent So I think there's still the bonus run coming up. Yep, still at $150. Let's try to get that met, guys. Thank you all again for having me. Really appreciate it. No worries. Thank you so much for being here.